But how do you control what they see? You can't. You can't control what they see because Facebook controls what... Jean-Serge Gagnon here. Today we're going to talk about how do you get your cold prospects to love you and buy from you by nurturing them. How do you nurture? What does that mean, right? What does it mean to nurture your prospects? What do we mean when we talk about that? We're going to get to that in just a second, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Yeah, so I remember like back like years ago when I first started, I actually had I actually hired somebody to show me how to create a nurture series of emails. Now I'm still actually using that and I'm actually working on replacing that with better versions and I'm gonna go through the process with you a little bit explain to you how you go about nurturing your cold audience what does it mean to nurture your audience but before we do that as always I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video at cis446.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and I will be um, uh, recording videos. There's a video there. I'll be sharing my screen uh, and I'll be explaining some more. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me actually go and share my screen here and uh, go there. There we go. All right, so well, when we talk about nurturing, what do we mean by nurturing, right? So a cold prospect is always somebody who does not know you. They, they have no idea who you are. They just saw you uh, just now. They're, they're, and they're just like, they, they don't know if they can trust you, if they can buy anything from you, if they can get anything from you, what they're going to get out of you. They have no clue who you are. That's what their cold prospect is, right? Cold prospect is somebody brand new in your world, if you will, right? So cold prospect could be somebody who commented on one of your posts on Facebook. It could be somebody who sent you a message. It could be somebody who saw one of your ads. It could be somebody who saw your comment in somebody else's post. Like there's lots of different cold prospects out there. And one of the things that they, we teach on mark, online marketing is to grow your own audience. Don't rely on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram or TikTok or any of those platforms to grow your audience. Even though every single one of your followers, every single one of your connections on LinkedIn, every single one of your friends are potentially prospects, it doesn't, you're not going to go anywhere without bringing them out of there and putting in the emails. Now, some will say, no, you don't need that. You can use just Facebook. You can use just, and there are strategies out there that let you kind of do that. But I personally uh, still believe very strongly that emails is how you actually get people to uh, follow you and be around, even though they're not maybe seeing your posts. Because one of the things is on social media, people will not see your posts. If you post something on social media, it doesn't mean that your, you know, 5,000 friends are going to see it, or it doesn't mean that your 15,000 LinkedIn connections are going to see your post, right? That never happens. And the main reason is because the platform controls the algorithm. They control how your content gets seen and who sees it in the newsfeed, right? Whereas an email, there are some, you know, there are some issues with emails because some of the email providers like Gmail, especially, they actually take control of delivery of the emails into the person's inbox. They'll either send your email to spam or to promotions or to uh, social, you know, those other tabs in, in Gmail or the spam folder in uh, in other in all platforms really and the thing is that if the person doesn't know to go look there they they won't see your email right and the other thing too is that not everybody opens every email like i mean they might like most people have thousands and thousands of emails they never even opened <coughs> right so that's the thing but even without that in mind you'll get much better retention if somebody uh, joins your email and they start to see content that they actually like 
Now, this is the exact same thing as on social media in the sense of if they see your stuff and they like it, they might actually like you more because they start to know who you are and all that. But that's what um, nurturing is all about. Is you know, it's uh, human. The human mind is not able to. Um, what? How can I put it? We're not going to know, like, and trust somebody just by seeing a ton of their stuff in one day, right? So you can't. Your brain is not able to become attracted to something that you all saw in one day, right? Uh, so I got the <laughs> I got the vacuum going there. So let me just go turn that off and come right back. All right, so what does that mean, right? What does it mean? So there's a, what do you need to nurture your prospects? Let's just kind of itemize the things that you need. Okay, so number one, you need, um, you're going to need an email list. So that means an email provider. I guess let's put this as an email provider, right? So an email provider. So like for me, I use Aweber and you can get a free trial well actually you can get a free account with aweber and uh up to a certain number of subscribers and also there's certain features that are enabled in the free plan but still you can get pretty you can get full uh, full everything uh i think it's 50 dollars 40 dollars 50 dollars a month or something which is definitely something you're going to need definitely you need a na- an email provider email autoresponder they call it let's put that there auto responder so i use aweber so you can uh, ch- uh, get you can get your free trial obviously you can just go to aweber.com but if you want to support me you go to aweber aweber.jsgagnon.com all right so that is um, going to give you the free trial and um I get a tiny little commission on that too all right so number two you need an email list right uh you need I should probably put this like this right you need number one an email provider you need an email list right you need an email list if you don't have an email list that you can add people to and then you can send them emails well you won't be able to nurture them you need to be able to send them that so there's there's introduction and then nurturing right so an introduction is all about just getting them to know you an email list uh well actually let's do that number three we need an email introduction sequence um we're going to get into that in a second and number four you need an email um broadcast series all right so the broadcast series can be ad hoc in other words you know every once in a while you send one out uh or you can prepare it ahead of time it's really kind of up to you but the difference is if you prepare it ahead of time then obviously it's got to be um content that makes sense to receive like you know a year later or something whereas if you do it ad hoc the cool thing about that is that you're basically just going to be creating content but you're sending it to your email list as a you know information that's kind of uh of the moment right so for example if something happens in the world you can actually and and you are impacted by that and something happens to your life because of something that's happening in the world well you can talk about that and then it's going to be relevant right people are going to notice it if they're your target market and they like the things you like they're going to feel connected to you because of that right so just as an example if you're a sports fan and you're following football or hockey or baseball or whatever sports right if you're following a sport and the your team wins or loses or things like that you can actually send out m- emails about that uh, you know win or loss and tell how maybe it made you feel or something like that and then your audience if they're into that which they would have to be otherwise they wouldn't be your audience they will relate and they will actually connect more with you because you're talking their language right and that's obviously that's very important you uh and this is not even should not even be number four and it should be number one right so number one should really be a clear message offer and audience right in other words your niche right so your niche 
your niche and avatar right so that's super super critical because without that you don't know how to compose your emails what to talk about that kind of stuff we'll make this number two three four and five right here all right so basically that's kind of what you need to be able to nurture your cold prospects so they love you and buy from you why do i say that right why do i say that that's kind of all you need um so if i go for example to my aweber dashboard and i see this just shows me i right now had 857 and by the way the number of subscribers that you'll have should always be you, you should always be cleaning that up like me if like for example i go say i go into this list here let's go to my introduction list uh da, 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 go down to oh i was actually in there if i go to my introduction list um that's basically something i set up years ago i gotta update that to be more relevant to today and to my audience and everything else and that's kind of what i want to talk about right now but just to get the idea right just so you understand what it means to create an intro introduction list like we have in this that i'm saying here right you need an email you need an email an introduction sequence right an introduction sequence is five to like maybe four five or six emails that you send out to your list whenever they sign up to introduce you you introduce you or maybe your product your offer to them right so they know what it's about right so if i look at this right i go uh into my automation right here my campaigns that's where you would have a sequence created in the campaign so that they get that whenever they subscribe to your list now there's a whole set of things we can talk about in terms of how to organize how to schedule how to how to not schedule how to broadcast how to not broadcast and all this but and and this is something that I'm, I'm even working on now is in terms of kind of organizing I've, I've actually got another list where i've i'm subscribing people based on a tag and not just based on being subscribers so they don't they don't they only get the series of emails that i want and anyways like i said that's another another topic but let's just say i have this one here is new sub from tag and welcome series so this is the one if i just look at this just preview kind of shows you the emails i've got in this list right so i've got a welcome so i got a 30 percent 31 26 percent right so that's like i mean sent to 1300 200 so as you can see you saw earlier i had only 800 and some subscribers that's what i was talking about is you clean it up i sent this to 1300 people but that doesn't mean they're still subscribers of mine that doesn't even mean i keep them as subscribers i'm not just like i actually go here and let's say i just kind of show you here under subscribers every once in a while every month or two or three sometimes but you know every once in a while i come to here and i delete any subscribers that are not active that have not opened any emails in like you know three months actually there's a in in the aweber here there's a filter that's already part of their thing there's a dormant subscribers right here if you click it it'll give you the list of the people that are on your list but have not opened an email i don't know if it's going to load or if it's i think it's loading okay it's and it's going to give you the people that have not opened an email from you in 90 days i think it is yes it is yes so uh, you can see the filter that's right there it kind of builds it for you so no opens in the 90 days date was added at least 90 days ago and they're still subscribed so this will give me a list of all the people that have not been active Just look at that there's a there's not that many because i do clean up but what i do is i and you can you know you you can choose to unsubscribe them if you want but i just delete them because you know you pay for subscribers in aweber right so no matter how many if you have more than 500 i think you pay more than if you just so i just go here and i go like this and i say delete right and that confirms it so i'm just going to delete so now what that does it deletes these people from my list and uh, then i have less subscribers right but at the same time at least the subscribers i have are people that are actually opening my emails there's no point in trying to and this is the thing if you send emails to to people that don't open your emails 
you're just going to lower your numbers and it affects all sorts of different things so it's important to do that so okay so now how do you do the <laughs> nurturing so first um obviously you need an introduction sequence so let's just say three to six emails maybe right now <coughs> i'm sorry uh okay so now those emails should be so number one is uh send them what they asked for right number one send them what they asked for uh number two whoops oh one send them what they asked for okay number two is send about you and what you who you are right so you who you are and what you do right and number three uh send bonus for them and then uh, number four and five could be again the same thing right so and then uh, well let's just do this number four uh bonus let's say bonus uh number two and number five would be offer okay so the idea here is that you're getting you're getting them to know you uh in your introduction right so this would be um uh, one day apart one day apart okay so you want to send them one day apart and you want to send them information first of all what they ask for right because the thing is that before you get people on your email list you have to have a reason for them to join your list so it could be a freebie it could be a, a free offer of some kind it could be a uh, software it could be an ebook could be there's all sorts of different things <laughs> but that would be the first thing you got to have a thing that they will give you their email for so you got to send that to them right and you don't want you could make the first email these two things together and in my case in this particular email if I go back to here and this I, I'd like I said I have to clean this up because this was just an introduction it did not include what they asked for <coughs> because I made it at the time I had created this as a introduction so if I go to this over here I just look at this again and we just look at the actual email that it's sending uh I forget if I just click it is it just going to preview it or it's actually going to open to edit it I think it's going to open to edit I didn't want to do that I just wanted to preview it what's it going to do yeah it's going to it's going to edit the email I don't want to do that anyways well I guess we can show you what it looks like but that's the email that goes out to people that join my list or join almost any of my list because you can have multiple lists in Aweber right and basically it just says you know my name is this I'm founder of this creator of this and all these different things I did with instructions on how to um <clears throat> uh, make sure that you get emails from me and you know there's even a I even have a YouTube video that talks about um right over here this little video that explains to them how to do the things I'm showing in this email and that's kind of what I had done so I'm just gonna cancel this I don't want to worry about editing this because definitely this has to be <laughs> this has to be updated because it's um four four or five years old now so I definitely need to update it but the goal of this this uh, blog post or this episode is to talk to you about the the really the broadcast series because that's where you nurture this is just introducing you to them right they uh, they might have no clue where who where you're from you know what you do that kind of stuff so this is kind of important to have so that at least they get a clue of what you're about <coughs> but you need to be sending them uh something that is called so so russell brunson is that how you spell it i keep forgetting how to write his name two s's two l's yes so russell brunson calls calls this a soap opera sequence and then daily seinfeld emails all right so um you need to send emails that will kind of introduce them to you and to a concept and to an offer and that kind of stuff using soap opera sequence so for me 
you would base well for me I would base that on basically my current offering right what I'm kind of working on what I'm kind of producing what I'm kind of selling what I'm trying to get people to to buy right so that is active group users right my software active group users so that has to fall into the whole thing so what do I what would I do right so for me I'm offering active whoops active group users software right and but the thing is obviously that's not important it's not important what the name of the software is or you know what it does it's more important about what it gives them right so you got to make sure that you uh, um, you got to list your benefits of your offer right <clears throat> because the benefits are the only reason why people would ever give you money for it right it's not the feature like it's not like <clears throat> it lets you uh, list all the users in groups right that's a feature let's your list of users of groups so why does that matter so you don't have to waste your time to go find them yourself right so you don't have to you don't have to sit at your computer and navigate through groups and look at all the all the users in the groups and members and everything and see who's active who's not it you save so much time just by letting the tool get that list for you right so my one of my benefits is uh stop wasting your time in the news feed right stop wasting your time you don't have to go in the news feed and uh, um uh um, spend your time where you want to spend it not where facebook wants you to right so that's basically you decide you decide and and I have to work more on the message right obviously my message is not still that great I'm still working on you know how to come up with the right message but basically you have to come up with a list of the benefits what are the benefits you got to brainstorm right brainstorm and you know what you can use tools like clever AI copy if you want let's just go down here and create a new session (coughs) and I'm gonna say brainstorm brainstorm ideas of what uh, what you'd benefit from using a tool to find active users in groups for you so I don't know if this will work but this is a this is an AI tool that kind of uh, tries to give you so brainstorm ideas of what you'd benefit from using a tool to find active users in groups active users in Facebook groups uh, for you okay let's just see what what it comes up with see what that gives us as an example so this is one of the things you can do too is you can use tools like this to get the um, you know to get your list of ideas to give you a start of ideas right even it'll, it'll write copy for you like you know headers for your funnels and things like that as well but let's just see see over here targeting potential customers in specific groups sharing posts gathering information building relationships growing an engaged community so this doesn't really kind of help what I'm trying to do um so add emojis and expand on why these are benefits to online marketers let's see what happens here <clears throat> what it does so this is kind of the kind of stuff that I I've been kind of using too this is actually uh based on what's called chat GPT or open AI so it's basically uh the same tool as chat GPT more or less except it's got a different uh way to organize things but let's see what it comes up with right let's see what it comes up with but in the meantime uh let's go back to here all right so in Aweber you can create multiple campaigns for a list so you could have one list with a bunch of campaigns like it's kind of what I started doing with uh, the active group users list actually active group users where is it over here there the workshop I have a 
I have a workshop I do every Monday and it's basically a free work a free webinar showing you how to use this software but I am cre using it I'm using this list to build so I have these different ones sign up from this sign up from here sign up from there so these are all it's not showing this here is it so okay so no nobody gets signed up to this list by being added to the list you have to have a uh what's called a, a tag added so whenever somebody gets added to my list I gotta specify the tag and then they get these emails based on the tag so depending on how they got added to the list they'll get one of these uh sequences of emails right or you can also have it so that this this for example the soap opera sequence or gold 90 days or whatever these other campaigns are sent automatically after so you can have to send these this like see this one here has got a single email right here's a single email and then I apply whoops I closed it then I apply the Seinfeld tag which means that anybody who receives this email a day later has this tag which I use for other purposes but I could add a tag like you know soap opera sequence for example that would send them these emails or this is not complete but I could create that there and then have that sent to them right so let's go back here see what happened all right so what did he do now all right so there you go so increase engagement by using a tool to find active users in the Facebook group online marketers can add emojis to an inner fun and humorous take on the topic so this is maybe a little bit more interesting right um easier targeted outreach increased networking opportunities improved brand awareness so these are reasons why using a tool can help with your online marketing right you get an easier targeted outreach you get increased networking opportunities you get improved brand awareness you get increased engagement so maybe these are things i can use in my emails to, to my benefits right over here these benefits that i have my benefits could be those benefits right increased networking opportunities because you're growing and you're not wasting time trying to connect with people that aren't active on Facebook so you get the list of people that are active right and that's anyway so you list your benefits and then you send emails explaining those benefits to them why they matter why they should matter to them so they grow in knowing you because they're getting these emails from you about the kinds of things that you care about that matter to you and that should matter to them I mean, obviously they're your avatar they're your target market you have decided what they are interested in so you're sending stuff that they're interested in so they automatically grow in knowing you and liking you and wanting to connect with you and, and seeing more from you and all that right that's kind of the purpose of growing and nurturing and you can do it by creating content on Facebook you know creating content every day and hopefully they see your stuff but the danger there is that you're not in control of who sees your stuff Facebook is <laughs> that's the thing right you're not in control so nurturing is all about getting people to see your stuff and see what you're about and learn learn to know you so that they like you and trust you and love you and eventually buy from you right that's the whole process whether you do it through Facebook or email it's the same kind of process because people cannot trust you in a day it takes time the brain has to assimilate it has to become memories you have to know that this person hasn't you know spam scammed you in in 30 days 60 days they they have to know that you're you're honest you've been honest ever since they know you <coughs> in that you know you know and if they just know you for a few days it's not gonna happen right so that's why it's also about nurturing time there's time involved there <coughs> and you have to go through that process so you know that's just kind of how it is and uh, <coughs> and that's why email is better than other other platforms because the other platforms are in control you, instead of you being in control right if you go if you go to Facebook right and you look at the uh, and you look at what is um in the feed uh, whatever I have in my feed right whatever I have in my feed is not under my control I don't well I mean there's a yeah there's a certain level of control in the sense that if you engage on 
you know, posts about build about building a business online, you're going to see more posts about building a business online, right? If you engage on images, you're going to see more images. If you engage on 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 text posts, you're going to see more text posts, right? If you engage on group posts, you're going to see more group posts. If you engage, so Facebook knows this. It'll actually show you the stuff that you're gonna you're that are based on what you are engaging on, right? So that does sort of that's kind of one way you, you can control what you see on your feed by your actions you take and right now it's kind of like taking a while to show up these posts oh my this is so slow this computer i don't know why it's so slow okay so what's going on here they're putting cars in these containers oh wow that's crazy okay anyways um okay so on Facebook, if you're engaging on posts, you can control what posts you see more by the fact that you're engaging on those posts, right? But that's not going to nurture your audience because your audience won't necessarily see your stuff unless they're engaging on similar stuff of yours. Or there's also the reciprocity rule where it basically says, if you engage on my stuff, I'm going to engage on your stuff. Or if you see my stuff and you engage on my stuff, then Facebook's going to show that stuff. So that's the thing you got to remember don't you don't have to be um you don't have to be engaging on stuff that you don't need right so this is the thing if you're engaging on everything that you care about facebook will show you what you what you care about now i mean it's all in you you taking control you take control of what you see by your actions and if your actions mean that you engage on you know a certain kind of content certain um certain um uh subject in the contents right certain um types of content like you know see how facebook has a whole bunch of different things there's these posts that are text with some sort of background image right like this one too or there's p posts with pictures and then there's there's uh posts there's reels right and then there's uh just text posts like this right all these are different posts they're different post types so depending on what post you engage on that's going to control what how much that you see more of that so that's one way to control but your audience if you're trying to nurture your audience how do you you know how do you do it how do you control what they see you can't you can't control what they see because facebook controls what your audience sees that's why you need an email list with an email list you're controlling what your audience sees because it's what you send them that they see and if they don't see it they don't that you know that's that happens they won't open it if they don't open it right but still that's kind of what you gotta keep in mind you gotta have these you know these these things you gotta have a clear message off now you gotta have an email provider auto respond you have to have an email list and then you have to have an introduction sequence and a broadcast series and with that you can then start to nurture your audience so that they get to know like and trust you so they love you and buy from you it's really that simple even though that's a lot of work it's really that simple all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.